at Polaron, we've developed a couple of sort of different tweaks of, mm -hmm. of, of translation because we know that a straight translation works sometimes, but most of the time when people use it for publishing or some particular purpose, we need to add extra levels of quality control, essentially. So can you take us through what, what's community approved, community plus and business plus? What, yes. what is that? Of course. So let's work first with the business plus. So in all of our services, we start with the internal checking. The internal checking, it's basically we work uh, with our project managers and we do a review of your source document. You might have some grammatical errors or maybe numbers that are not correct. Or there's some things that are difficult to translate, so we yes. sometimes need to rephrase them or rewrite yes. them. Yeah? Or mm -hmm. you need more context before sending it to the translators. So that's our first um, step in Business Plus. The second step would be the translations uh, with a NADI certified translator. Mm -hmm. We work with more than 170 languages. So this NADI certified translator, we review it, we do the translation service, and they will send it back to us. And then uh, we'll do the second uh, check-in with a second NADI certified translator because translators are human beings and everybody can make mistakes. Yeah. So this is a quality um, check-in. Uh, with the second uh, NADI certified translator, and that's the Business Plus uh, process. So, so that's the thing, mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt yeah. you there, but I think, you know, a few years ago before we implemented these processes, I would often get people, uh, oh, you know, like I've translated this into 20 languages, but I'm, I'm just not sure if this is mm -hmm. right. And I was thinking back then, why? Why are you paying for, for, for this? Why are you doing this? Uh, and why aren't you checking? Like, you know, to develop a brochure or a fact sheet internally for an organisation takes many levels of approval. So you can't just give it to one translator and hope for the best. So we, we've developed this system so that people can um, sleep well at night. And mm -hmm. so can we, right? Yes, yes. And especially for Business Plus translations, um, if you are talking about a specific context of business per se, um, this is a service that's recommended. But if you are going to target more to communities spaces and communities, um, um, more communications for them, uh, then we would um, look at the other service that we provide, which is Community Plus. Uh, the same with Business Plus, we start with um, the internal check-in and then we move on with the translation with the NADI certified translator. Uh, but in this case, since you want to get the context of the communities and the context of, um, of what you're talking about, um, we will do the second review with a community member. So the community member will check if it's um, not only uh, linguistically correct, but also culturally correct. Mm -hmm. um, if there's something that even images that need to yes. change. Or colors. Or colors, the, yes. yes. Or some words that might be offensive. So this is a second check-in that we do with the community uh, member. And afterwards, then it's sent back to us. So in Business Plus and in Community Plus, you have two different levels of checking. Um, just the difference is that the second checker is uh, a NADI certified translator for Business Plus and for Community Plus, it's a community member. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have uh, the one that have all three levels of checking, which is the community approved translations. We start with the internal uh, review the first translation with an ADI certified translator, the second uh, checking with a second ADI certified translator, and finally a checking with a community member. Mm -hmm. So that's the full pro 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 process of all our services, and it depends on the, the context and what document you are translated or what format and, and who you are translated for. Yeah, amazing. And um, just a side benefit from... Uh, all of that is that because we work with um, probably about 120 different ethno-specific community organizations, they can help you disseminate the information uh, to the community. So because they know you've worked with them, it's also a very respectful, um, I feel, way of um, dealing with the communities. And as I said uh, earlier, everybody gets paid along the way. We believe in ethical translation, so we don't just go to uh, community leaders to ask them to do it for free. They get paid. Mm -hmm. um, and um, quite often the feedback we get from them is that's great. I have um, now got some information I can disseminate amongst the community. 
And when we do go to community members, we, we really fine tune it with um, people that are potential recipients mm-hmm. of this information so they can really understand because uh, there are intergenerational um, linguistic issues as well. Um, okay, well, thank you for outlining that so well. Uh, and you have, if you are confused, all you have to do is call Carla. She'll mm-hmm. explain it all to you again. Uh, but it's pretty simple. We do engage with communities. Um, our translations are community-led. We believe that that's the only way that you can actually, um, for this particular um, type of translation, when it's message for the communities. Um, it's the only way to do it is engage the communities because they'll tell you mm-hmm. uh, what works for them and what doesn't. So thank you. Thank you.